blessed are the young couples that appreciate each other. A lot of people get old and they get stuck in their ways. They get used up and get mental baggage, emotional baggage. Their body get worn out. They get guts. They get worn out, pain, they get, you know, they get their penis get limp, they can't get hard no more. Or women get loose, they, they vaginal get real loose. They don't get no walls, they lose their walls, you know. Uh, you know, they get ran through. They can't feel, they can't feel no more. You know, they can't feel it like it used to. It don't feel as good as to them. Even the best penis don't feel as good to them like it used to. You know what I'm saying? Um, as you get older, man, a lot of stuff stop working. You get stuck in your ways, you get, you start overthinking stuff. You less spontaneous. So, this is what happens to old when people get older, man. Most people, not all people. Some people still just like they was when they was in high school, or, you know. So, but most people they get stuck in their ways. They get used up. But but them couples that meet each other young, them couples that meet each other young, and they appreciate each other. They are blessed because they ain't got to deal with all that, you know, all them different people and all them different demons and all them different, you know, different strange experiences that could cause them in their life and all these different people problems and spirits and stuff. It's better to get married young or get connected with another person young, you know. Then when you get older, a lot of people gonna say, you don't know what you want when you young and you don't know what you want and you know, you still developing and all this stuff. Older people don't know what they want. People are more pure and their hearts are better when they're younger. People are more pure and their hearts are better when they're younger. They don't have no and many scars. You know what I'm saying? That stuff can damage you. When you start meeting people saying, I hope you ain't this type of person. I hope you ain't, you know what I'm saying? You already coming with the wrong energy when you, most people when they get older, they come with the wrong energy because they expecting, their guard is so up. You know, they can't even enjoy the other person and they're not even really comfortable with the person unless they controlling them. So some people not comfortable with you unless they controlling you because they scared to put their guard down and they scared for you to have your own mind because if you got your own mind, they think you're gonna manipulate them. So they gotta feel like you always trying to please them or they, and they got you hanging by a string or a collar. If you always in please them mode, they know they got you. You know, they know you scared to make a mistake. You're not being yourself. You're not speaking your mind. And they basically controlling you. So, it's better to get with, with, you know, it's better for couples to get with each other young and those couples are blessed. If they can appreciate each other, they can last for a long time. It don't happen often, but it does happen. Maybe about 20% of the time, 15 to 20, something, you know, sometimes 25% of the time, you know, those couples last for I've seen couples last since middle school. You know, they've been with each other. They happy. They, they got four or five kids. You know, and they just happy. You can just see it's better. You can see it in their energy. You know what I'm saying? They, they just happier. They just more positive. Their mind is is solid because they had a long life of love. They ain't just wait till they. They didn't just wait till they just on their last leg. They was able to experience the person they love while they was at their best, you know what I'm saying? While the penis was, while the penis was, was hard, was hard as it can get, you know what I'm saying? While the vagina was as tight as it can get, you know what I'm saying? When she was young and vibrant, you know? And that's when, that's when they experienced each other. You know, you didn't so-called find the person you love at their last leg, while the vagina loose, 
why they can't trust nobody. They got so many experiences that they, everything you do with them is, it's not exciting. They've done it already. They already had sex in a the car. They already had sex in a swimming pool. They already had sex. They already had sex in a, um, in a movie theater. In a movie theater restroom and back in the movie theater seats. This is the spontaneous stuff that makes you just like, man, I can't wait to, you know, you, you're excited about your mate, you know. It's hard to cheat. It's hard to think about somebody else when you're doing this type of spontaneous stuff with the person that you, that care about you and you click with, you know, you vibing with, you got some kind of spiritual connection with, you love, and you, most importantly, you know, you can be yourself around. You can pray with and stuff. Cause I'm telling you, that's what's wrong now. People are so selfish when they get married at a younger, at a later date now, you know what I'm saying? They're getting married so late that they, um, they get married so late. And that's why they get stuck in their ways. People get stuck in their ways, y'all. And they can't connect with nobody because they're trying to control somebody. They're always looking for fault. Especially if they still look kind of decent, but they're older. Like, let me see, about 27, 27 or 30. Or 20, started about 25 to 30s. You know, they st if they still look kind of good and they still got some people coming at them, but they always think they can do better because what happens is they started acquiring, they start acquiring superficial things. They start acquiring superficial things like how much a person make. So they, it's too many, it's, but as the people get older, it's all about numbers and letters. It's all about numbers and letters as people get older. And it's not about the person. First thing people ask you when you get older, what you do for a living? Do you like your job? How the job? Everything about job. My job is good, but my heart is not. You know, I'm gonna start telling people that. My job is good, but my heart is not. <laughs> Just to see what they say. So you gotta understand in this world, it get as you get older, it get more superficial. I understand that in this world we need housing, we need water. Money is very helpful and beneficial. But none of that stuff gonna matter if you don't have love. And you have and you surrounded by fake people. That money ain't gonna matter. None of it's gonna matter. Because you gonna be miserable and have a headache either way. You might be comfortable but not happy. Some people not really comfortable, but they happy. And happy always override comfort. Now, don't get me wrong, it's better to have both, but a lot of times people try to get, a lot of times people just try to get, they try to get happiness after they get comfort in a false sense of security. And that's just not how it works. That's just not how it works, you know? So, you know, you wanna, uh, you wanna, if you're young, if you are a young person, if you meet a cool person, I advise you to stick with them and appreciate each other, back and forth. Don't let nobody get in between, because what happens is, this world is jealous of love. This world is jealous of couples. They jealous of couples. You know what I'm saying? They jealous of people that's in love, that's smiling and that's lasting. People used to, they like seeing people break up so they can gossip. So-and-so, so-and-so broke up. They like seeing people break up, you know what I'm saying? This world like gospel, they like gossip. All they wanna do is laugh and talk about people. They don't wanna see love. That's the devil. The devil don't like anything that's God designed love, God designed relationships. The devil don't like to see none of that type stuff.
So you can't let people get in between your relationship and what you have with somebody because it's hard to find it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, a lot of people look good, but a lot of people, they're not gonna love you for who you are, only for what you can give them and what you, how you can give them attention and please them. You know, make them get more attention, make them look good, and how you can please them at that time. You know what I'm saying? Because love is rare, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody can act like they love you when you got a house, cars, and money, and they think you don't need them vacation money, but when people are younger, they can grow with each other. And when they grow with each other, they, they get laced up real tight and have a, a bond that, that lasts a lifetime. Even if they get a temporary breakup, they just so, they've been so used to being around each other, you know, that they can't help but to come back, you know, if they kind of, if they got any kind of goodness in their heart. So I'm here to let you know now. Don't let people break up your stuff. Blessed are the people, blessed are the young couples that appreciate each other. Don't let nobody break you up. Try to put you know put Jesus in your relationship pray together read the Bible go to church or something you know and uh, I'm Alan Williams the there. you know I love you but Jesus loves you more until next time Regina Nation we out